All right, so welcome back to some more MX Bikes. Now, I actually did go out and pick up the full game. You guys killed it on that last video, and it was it was enough fun for me that I felt like I wanted to, to do it. I wanted to support this guy because, or this team, I'm not sure if it's a team or if it's one person, but motocross games in general, I like them, and I like the variety. Now, if it would have been just terrible, awful, no, I probably wouldn't have. I would have just stuck with the demo. But the game... It was enough fun for me that I felt like I wanted to I wanted to keep playing it. So uh, it was 30 euros, I believe, which is I think for me it was 36 dollars, 36 something. And I know when it comes to money, people are gonna complain. They're gonna complain no matter how cheap or how expensive it is. I honestly think it's not that bad of a price. It's under 40 dollars. The base game has some. It doesn't have a ton, but remember this is also a beta, so they're adding stuff. They're updating it. And it doesn't feel like it's an abandoned game. It feels like it's still getting updates. Now, I don't know how often, because I'm new to this. I'm really new to this game, but it feels like it's still getting updates. There, there are mods also that you can install. It's not complicated to install them. I do not have any, which is funny, because I did, before doing this video, I was going to install a track, gear, and a bike skin. And I installed all of it. And... Unfortunately, none of it worked. None of it, which is odd. None of it worked for me. So I must have done. I must have done something wrong. I'm gonna go back and see if. Uh, I think I might have put the tracks one. I put it in the right folder. Folder, but I, I think I know what I did wrong there. But I'm not 100% sure why the bike skin didn't work and why the the gear skins didn't work. Because I know I put them on like 250, the 250F or XF, whatever it is in the game, and then it should correspond to that in the folder and everything so I'm not sure I'll go back and check but there are some mods not a ton but there are some and the base game has a medium amount of content not too little but not a lot but again I already said this it's beta so it, it probably will get more this is just a base track in the game a motocross track I think there was some super moto and duracross stuff like that which we might check out too but this this track was the first one I think that I checked out and I ran a lap on it and felt like okay maybe we can kind of get around this track and it won't be so bad because the game is like I don't know I can't really compare it to anything because it's it's its own thing it's not it's not MX simulator tough there's not that big of a learning curve but it's not an arcade pick up and play and I'm gonna be super fast in one day kinda of game either I mean if you grinded it out for 24 hours sure okay you might be a pro but I think what makes this game so fun for me and makes it worth playing and supporting not only because it's a motocross game and the guy or team of people behind this game I think did a pretty good job it's because it it walks that really fine line when it comes to any game any game in general is it so hard that it's not fun and I want to say screw this game right away and never come back to it? Or is it too easy to where after a short period of time it's it's just not fun anymore? It's, it was too easy to learn. This game is, is right in the middle there. It's hard enough that I want to keep playing and learn it. But it's easy enough that I can kind of get around a track and still have fun while I'm learning. Does that make sense? Sim is a little different for me. Sim is like... I look forward to playing this game, MX Bikes. Like, I was kind of pumped to pick it up, the full copy, and then check out some of this stuff, and then check out what they have for the bonds. Like, I was I was pretty excited about that. MX Simulator, from day one, now it is getting a little bit better, because I kind of am learning the game just, just a tiny bit, just enough to, to, like, get around a track without crashing too many times where it's not fun. But it's still really frustrating. Sim for me, I've been fighting that whole, this game is so hard that I'm not even having fun with it. And yes, I don't put a lot of time into that game yet. And I know it takes huge amounts of time to get good at Sim. Huge amounts of time. And I just haven't found the dedication to sit down and play enough. I'm trying to do more, but it's still nowhere near where I need to be in just having the controller in my hands and actually playing the game. So I think for a lot of people... And for the people that are good at that game, maybe it's not like that. But coming, I'm a very average, kind of casual guy. And from that standpoint, Sim is almost too hard. It's like, I just want to give up sometimes because it's too much. It's just not fun for me. And I know people say that you, you kind of force yourself to play, and after a while, it gets better. You know, we talked about that. It's like in a, an acquired taste. It's like coffee. You might not like it right away, but after you do it for a while, you're going to like it. So that's kind of like Sim. This game 
is not that. So I don't even like comparing it to Sim because it's its own thing. It is a simulation motocross game, but I don't like trying to compare it to that game because Sim is not... They're their own things. They're, they have similarities, but they're not... They're, they're not the same thing. But I don't have a lot of hours in this game, so I can't say that, yes, it's for sure worth picking up for $36 or 30 euros. So I, I'm sorry I forget your name, but whoever asked me that on the um, last video, I think, is this game worth picking up? Because I believe they said they played Reflex and Simulator a lot. So from the little I've played, yeah, I think it is. There are mods, so you're familiar with the mods and the modding community if you play Reflex and Simulator. So doing, doing the mods in this game will be no problem. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth the money. And again, it's it's a beta, so it's going to keep getting better. So, And he, he makes it very obvi obvious. If you're not one to support games that are in development still, blah, 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 don't pay money for it. I did because not only to to be able to run the full game on the on our YouTube channel here, but to... I enjoy it. After I finish this video, I'm going to play some more. No joke. Sometimes I say that about Sim, like, I guess I'm going to go and sit down and play, and I don't. I just don't, because I lose the motivation. Something happens, and it's just like, eh, I'd rather do that than play Sim, because I suck at Sim. This game, I want to play more. I really want to play more, and just get better. And check out some of the other tracks, and maybe check out some Supermoto and stuff like that. And I think there's mods for Supercross as well, which would be a whole lot harder. Well, I don't, I don't really know. I know Supercross will be harder, but the game in general just plays slower. It just plays a lot slower than, than let's say Sim. Again, I don't, I don't like comparing the two games, but as far as speeds go, this game feels a lot slower. Now, on that last video, I felt like second, and third was kind of cutting it around that track. It didn't really work as well here. I still kind of hung out in second around the corners, but sometimes third, um, you had to shift a lot more here. You had to shift a lot more, and then coming up, let's see, this is that table. I think this is that big uphill triple, which I actually only get one time. I get it at the very end of the video. Every other time we either cased or didn't even... I mean, yeah, we're not getting good corner speed here, but the game, what makes it tough is the brakes are really touchy. So when you're going into a corner, it's really easy to crash by braking too much or by turning too sharp. A lot of people are saying they like to they lose their front end a lot. Yeah, I do too. I just am taking it really, really slow. And you can always tell when I'm braking because you can hear the brakes squeaking the discs, which... I kind of like that, and the backfiring, the popping of the exhaust sounds really cool. But you can always hear the disc brakes squeaking uh, when when I'm braking. It's not just after braking for too long. And so I don't actually brake too much in this video. I kind of coast, I mean a little bit there, but I coast more, kind of hang out in third and then upshift to fourth. So I, I did get in fourth sometimes. I mean, there we cased and just didn't quite get it but it's it's really easy to crash in the corners I'd say that's the easiest you can I feel like I can case more in MX bikes than I can in MX simulator without crashing so that's kind of I enjoy that a little bit more maybe less realistic more realistic I'm not really sure because some of the cases don't look that bad I think you could ride it out in real life while some no way I mean casing that big uphill triple I'm pretty sure we would have been dead but um, overall, I think it's a really good game. We'll keep going with this series as long as it's something you guys want to see. So if you want to see more, make sure to leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments. And if you do happen to pick it up or play the demo, let me know what you think of it. Because I think it's a solid game. And I think it's got a, a just right amount of a learning curve to it. Putting some time into it, not even half the time that you would need to learn simulate, MX Simulator, you can you know, get around these tracks and kind of enjoy it, enjoy yourself and have a little fun so I think next time next time I'll try to have mods installed if not or if I don't get around to doing it or whatever I'm just gonna do another base track and maybe we'll check out Supercross after I've played for a while because I need to learn the game a little more before I try to do Supercross because I think that's gonna be really 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 tough and we're also on the 250 we're on the 250F we've been on the 250F for both videos now I'm, I'm assuming the 450 is gonna be a lot harder just like in MX simulators so we'll have to see try to throw you a whip did not work like last time. It was harder to whip on these jumps. And then at the end, we'll do that as well. But we're kind of coming up to the end. That was embarrassing. It's kind of hard to get going. It's, I don't know. It's just kind of hard to get going. It's realistic. I like it, but it's still kind of, kind of tough. It just, I don't know. It's really easy to wheelie if you give it too much.
throttle and then it's really easy to just choke the bike. But somewhere in here we're gonna hit that big, we actually get this big double too. We're gonna hit the big uh, step up triple and then come across the finish line and that should wrap up the video. But thank you so much for the support on this series. If you wanna see more, make sure to leave a like and we will keep going with it. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.